Just hours after Shane Dawson released the return of Eugenia Cooney, Jacqueline Glenn and her friends came out to speak their truth to voice their concerns about Eugenia. When the video came out, there were mixed reviews because Jacqueline and the gang were exposing quite a bit about Eugenia that wasn't talked about in Shane's video. Now, it seems like many people are on Jacqueline's side and are concerned for Eugenia as well. So make sure that you stay tuned to this whole video as we discuss what's going on from all the different angles so we can see what we can all learn from this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take the topics that are going on in the YouTube community to try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And I've been covering this comeback of Eugenia Cooney, so make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And before we get started, I just wanted to thank everybody once again. My brand new book, Cancelled, is coming out. And if you didn't know, it's free. It's a book examining cancel culture, my experience as well as a bunch of experiences I've witnessed go on for the last couple of years. The book's free, so everybody who's been donating to the cause, I appreciate you all so, so, so much. If you would like more information about the book, check out the description down below. So yeah, not long after Shane Dawson's video with Eugenia Cooney came out, Jacqueline Glenn and her friends released a video, and I got flooded with tweets and DMs and messages and comments on my video and everything like that. So yeah, we're going to be talking about this, but again, we're gonna be talking about it from different angles because the internet is kind of split about this. So I'm gonna be talking about this, but I'm also gonna be talking about how to have an intervention for a friend and some things that you might wanna be prepared for because there's so much that we can learn from this. Those of you who don't know who I am, hi, my name's Chris. I've been clean and sober for seven years. I was an addict addicted to pain medication prescription opioids, as well as alcohol. So not only that, but I worked at a drug and alcohol treatment center for a little over three years, and we specialized in dual diagnosis. For those of you who don't know what dual diagnosis means, it means not only did we treat addiction, but we also treated mental illness as well. There was a little confusion when I mentioned that yesterday. So people who were in the treatment center not only had an addiction, but some of them struggled with eating disorders or depression or anxiety or PTSD, all sorts of stuff, all right? But the other thing is, is that I have been involved in a lot of interventions. Not only did my family have multiple interventions on me, but I have also helped many other people get help by doing interventions for them. So that's my background and why I'm gonna be covering this topic. Yesterday, Shane Dawson released The Return of Eugenia Cooney where he interviewed her and helped her with coming back to the platform after being away for months. For a long time, many people have been concerned about Eugenia Cooney. Although she never admitted it publicly, it appeared as though she had an eating disorder. In Shane Dawson's video, this was the first time she opened up about her eating disorder and discussed how she went to treatment. After the video was released, there was an outpouring of support. Millions of people have been worried about this young woman and she's finally on the right track. Eugenia is an awesome young woman. She has a heart of gold and is loved by so many people. So Eugenia took to Twitter to thank Shane Dawson as well as all of the fans who were showing her love and support with her return. It wasn't long until Jacqueline Glenn sent out this tweet. Shane missed the chance to cover this story in a real way. A lighthearted house tour and makeup video is not the proper way to cover something this scary. Jake Paul gets sociopath music, but a video on a serious eating disorder is sunshine and rainbows. I'm so disappointed. For those of you who don't know, Jacqueline Glenn is a YouTuber as well as a longtime friend of Eugenia Cooney. Not long after this tweet, Jacqueline and her friends released a 25 minute video titled, The Return of Eugenia Cooney, The Real Story. In this video, Jacqueline and her friends not only expressed that they're still concerned for Eugenia, but they explained a lot that wasn't in the video with Shane Dawson. In Jacqueline's video, they discuss how they tried many times to get Eugenia to get help, but they didn't have any luck. They also discussed how they had to trick Eugenia because they were having an intervention for her, and that's what ultimately led to her getting help. For a long time, many people have assumed that Eugenia's mom has been enabling Eugenia. So in this video, Jacqueline discussed how she personally feels Eugenia's mother is dangerous too. She discussed how during the intervention, Eugenia's mother was screaming at Jacqueline on the phone and threatening to press charges for kidnapping. Eugenia seems to be doing great now though, so why did Jacqueline 
feel the need to make this video? Well, it's because of this clip right here. Your friends aren't doing anything, whatever, but I'm sure behind the scenes, I'm sure everybody was always reaching out and whatever. There was almost like some people that like never really said anything to me like, before, but then like later on were kind of like bullying me into like trying to make like decisions for me. Jacqueline and her friends were hurt that Eugenia called them bullies when they felt all they were trying to do was help her. So the question is, should Jacqueline have made this video? So yeah, there's been a ton of mixed reviews. When Jacqueline Hill first put up this video, the long one, she actually released a follow-up shorter video, but when it first got released, there was a massive amount of dislikes, but it seems like more people are understanding why Jacqueline Glenn made this video. So personally, personally, I don't believe that she should have made this video with her friends, but I understand why they made this video, all right? But it is now out there in the open, so let's discuss because a lot of us can learn from this situation. So the first thing I just wanna discuss real quick is the YouTube aspect of this, all right? Not the friend aspect, but the YouTube aspect. Personally, I would like to hear your thoughts too. I don't think this video should have been made. Like Jacqueline Glenn and her friends are friends with Eugenia Cooney. This should have been handled off camera, especially because this video with Shane Dawson was just released. Like personally, like I would have waited a little while longer because many people who uh, knew Eugenia made videos expressing their concern, but like they just released this video, I would have waited a little bit longer. And if I felt like this was a last resort, almost like when it came to Eugenia getting help, like I would have really waited. I don't think it was a good idea to release this video. But like I said, I understand why they did it. So from my experience, it's important to understand that addiction, eating disorders, different issues like that, one of the main reasons that we stay sick in our illness is because of the people in our lives, all right? This is one of the reasons, like at the treatment center I was working at, many people flew in from out of state. Like, it is very beneficial to distance yourself away from friends and family members who might be keeping you sick, all right? So I understand why Jacqueline Glenn and her friends are concerned about Eugenia because Eugenia's mother is still in her life. So what fueled them to make this video was that Eugenia considered them bullies. And listen, I'm letting you all know right now, if you ever have an intervention for somebody, this is part of the territory. This comes along with it, all right? Like I understand how they feel and this is just what happens. Like not only have I had to have interventions for friends, but I've had to do it for many clients as well and they will hate you. Sometimes they will hate you for a long time. Part of my job was to follow up with clients afterwards and sometimes I would call them, they'd be like, hey Chris, sorry I was such a dick to you while I was in treatment, thanks, you saved my life. Like sometimes it takes people a long time. I can tell you from my personal experience, when my family had an intervention for me seven years ago, I was telling them to go F themselves. I was so angry and so upset and it took me a long, long, long time to realize that this was the best thing to ever happen to me, all right? Like, Eugenia has been on this journey for months, but it might take her a while to truly see how they were helping to save her life. Like, everything that Jacqueline Glenn and her friends was real, it was like, you can, you can see their pain, you can see how they're hurt, you can see how they're still concerned for her. And this is common, like, uh, again, like I work with a lot of people who are trying to overcome addiction. And when I see that, you know, even if they went through treatment, if they didn't change like people, places and situations in their life, like I'm still kind of concerned for them. You know what I mean? Like a lot of overcoming addiction is changing behaviors. So when it comes to Eugenia Cooney, and if any of you have experience with eating disorders, like let me know down in the comments below, like I'm not sure how much her, her family dynamic has has played into that. So if you have experience and you want to share it down below, like let me know how how that affected your disorder or still affects it to this day. The last thing that I want to talk about is, and I, I apologize because I don't watch Jacqueline Glenn, I don't know her friends, but the young woman who was in the video with Jacqueline Glenn, like she mentioned a couple times in this video that she has struggled with an eating disorder in the past, right? And she says she still struggles with it. And she even opened up and shared some of her experience about how she was angry with her family, right? And here's what I try to tell people, because if you watch my last video I made about Shane Dawson and why he was perfect to help Eugenia Cooney, it's because when we've been through it, we're the best people to help, all right? So like, I help a lot of people overcome their addictions, right? I've been a part of many interventions. The number one thing I have to do is get 
into their mind state, right? I have to go back. I have to go back seven years ago when I didn't want to get well. I was sick. I was mentally sick. So when I see this young woman like really confused about how Eugenia Cooney um, acted or responded, like I'm sitting there, I'm watching and I'm like, girl, you gotta empathize. You gotta remember how hard this was for you to get better. And the last thing I'll talk about is one of my really, really good friends, one of my really good friends who I helped get sober a long time ago, um, he's trying to help one of his friends get sober, all right? And he calls me and he texts me and he's so frustrated and he's so upset and I have to remind him, I'm like, dude, you gotta get back into their mindset. You gotta understand, you have to remember back before you got sober, remember the conversations I had with you and how angry you got with me. Remember the denial that you were in, right? Remember all of these things, like that is the golden rule. So at the end of the day, like I can't express enough. If you have somebody in your life who, whether they're struggling with an addiction, an eating disorder or anything like that, like please, please, please remember they are sick. Okay, this is a sick person. And I say this because from my experience, it helps to remember that the person is sick. They are not a bad person, they are a sick person, all right? Like when you're dealing with somebody who's in that mindset, they're gonna get angry, they're gonna lash out, they're gonna get defensive, they're gonna be in denial and all those things. Like I try to think of it as like, it's not even really them. It's almost like they're possessed by their illness, you know what I mean? And you just gotta kind of like roll with the punches and hopefully, hopefully best case scenario, one day they come back and they thank you for saving their life and everything like that. Some of them, they might never thank you. But at the end of the day, we just have to know that we played a part in their recovery and getting them help. And that's the most that we can ask for. So again, like I said, in this situation, it seems like Eugenia Cooney is on the right track. We'll see how things go from here. But hopefully, you know, all of the people involved in this, they remain friends or they become friends again and all of that. But if you have any experience with interventions or anything like that, whether you've been on the giving or the receiving end, Let's have a conversation down in the comments below, all right? Or let me know about your thoughts on this situation, okay? So anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who has donated to help me get this book finished about cancel culture. It should be out Monday, all right? So follow me on social media so you don't miss any of the updates, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.